We've received quite a bit of interest in my free to be workshop. So to that effect, beneath this video is a link that will give you a description for the workshop. And we've also included a special discount. So if that's something you would be interested in, I would invite you to click that link and I hope that you would find the course to be quite beneficial. I want you to think about that narcissistic person who is constantly bringing in validation toward you. One of the defining features of narcissism is that they have to stay in that superior position. And so they're not at all bashful about putting you in a down place. Uh, narcissists can bring a mindset to you and to the relationship where they think, I'm more clever than you. I know better about so many things than you do. I disapprove of who you are or how you think. You need to think like me and filter your thoughts through me. They can be snarky. They can be disapproving. They can be uppity and condescending. They can be bossy and shaming. They can be not very nice, absurdly argumentative. They can be judgmental in the way that they present themselves. And you're there thinking, how am I going to engage with these individuals? And my response to that is, well, maybe you don't really need to get into the uh, the relationship or the conversation with them in any kind of deep way. And sometimes you just need to, uh, to, to learn how to speak to them in such a way that conveys, I'm not in your space and I'm not going to go into your space. And uh, I'm hoping that you can decide there are going to be certain things that I'm going to be willing and able to say that's just going to allow me to take an upper hand. And, and when I say upper hand, I don't mean that you're going to be in the superior position, but it's more akin to you taking the high road. I don't want to go down in that ditch with you, and I'm going to make it as clear as I know to be. Now, as you make these types of statements that I'm going to offer to you, there, there, there are three things, three elements that I want you to hold in mind. One is you want to be brief in what you have to say. You don't need to go into long, long discourses and explanations like sometimes you are uh, in, uh, inclined to maybe do. Uh, second, you want to have what I refer to as calm firmness. State what you have to say in a calm tone of voice, remain firm. And then third, you want to have no defense. I don't need to defend who I am. I'm just going to say what I need to say and I'll be done. Let me give you some illustrations. I have several here that I want to share with you and we can see how we can do this. Uh, one is sometimes narcissists will come to you with what I call statement questions. They have disapproving thoughts or they have judgmental thoughts, but they'll put a form of a question in front of you. Let me give you an illustration. A man was talking with me about how he was in uh, the presence of multiple family members, and there was one member off to the side that he didn't have a lot of interaction with, but they knew each other. And this man was talking about spending time with his stepkids who happened to be biracial. Everybody knew that. And he was just saying, we did this and we had this fun time. And that one relative just piped up and said, are they black? Now, that's what I mean when I say a statement question. This person was revealing, I'm not comfortable with racial diversity. And I don't know what to think about that. So what's a person going to say to something like that? In a case like that, a great response would be to use the line that says, help me understand why you would feel the need to ask that question. Put it back in their lap. And <laughs> what you're doing is you're handing that person a shovel and you're saying, go ahead, dig your hole. I'll just stand here and watch. I don't have anything else to say to that. Or let's suppose that you're at a social event. And you know the type that, that loves to argue and they love to dominate the conversation and they have all these blustery opinions and they're very pushy and they're very dominant and nothing you're going to say is going to change their mind. And so they keep coming at you with all sorts of pushy and, uh, and uh, ill-informed uh, positions. What are you going to say to something like that? At a time like that, there's another line that you can use and that might be something like, that's certainly your perspective. You and I think quite differently. And then, of course, you know that person's going to come back with more. Let, let's take it even a little bit further. Let's suppose that you're in a situation where you clearly are not buying into whatever that individual is saying. And, and you can uh, sense that that person is wanting you to defend your position. 
So why do you think this way? Or what, what made you come up with a conclusion like that? And they, they're just, they just want to argue and they want to keep it alive. What might you say at a time like that? How about let's try the line, I really don't have anything further to add to our discussion. That's it. Because you know they're not asking questions for the sake of information. They're asking questions so that they can pull their hammer out and bang you with it. Not going to go there. Or then let's suppose that you are in a situation where that narcissist is uh, is feeling like they're not really gaining the, t the traction they want with you and their blustery and invalidating opinions. And so they accuse you of being non-cooperative. Uh, they have demands and uh, they want you to do things a certain way. Um, and they may even say something like, you're just so stubborn and you just uh, won't cooperate. Another line that you might be able to use at a time like that is, it's fair to say that our priorities don't match. Or you might say, it's fair to say that our interpretations don't match. That's it. You don't have to say anything more. Or let's suppose that you continue on and you get further snarky comments from these individuals and uh, you have a, uh, an unwillingness to engage with them in the way that they, in the argumentative way they want. And so that narcissist might say something like, so that's it, huh? Uh, you're just not even going to talk to me about stuff. Is that, is that what you're trying to say? At a time like that, best, best line that you can use might be, I honestly have nothing to add. That's it. That's all you have to say. Or when the uh, the narcissist wants to discuss concerns about you and they, they want to talk about your patterns or uh, things that you've said and done through the years past, you know, wh why you had this priority or why you approached a, a topic or a, a project in a certain kind of way. And they, uh, they, they use serious disinformation. I don't think you handle this correctly or you are operating with a, with a poor uh, set of information about things. At some point, you might even go so far as to say, since you and I are not able to agree on the basics, it seems that the conversation here is over. Uh, if they're going to keep coming at you with misinformation about who you are, your efforts to try to explain yourself, and you might try to explain yourself once, is not going to get anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and exit from that round roundabout form of communication. Or let's just say that they just keep pushing and they keep pushing and they keep pushing and they've got this opinion and they've got this preference. At some point, uh, a good response to something like that might be the line that says, I know that being right is very important to you. That's it. That's all you have to say. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, you win because you see, I don't care. I'm not in the competition with you. Then let's take it a little bit further. Let's suppose that the narcissist can get really blustery and they can start calling you names and they can be blustery and insulting toward you. And, uh, and you know that there are times when they uh, are feeling like they're uh, wanting to have that upper hand, that superiority over you, and they're not gaining that. There are times when they can start getting really rude and really contemptuous that a good line at that point to make is, my sense of self-respect requires me to excuse myself. And then you excuse yourself. You continue to move on. Or another favorite thing that the narcissist might do is they might want to put some shame on you and guilt and try to uh, make you question the validity of you being you. Uh, there's this one woman who said, my, my father's favorite line, he was an elderly person, my father's favorite line is, I thought I raised you better than this. And at some point, uh, a good line to something like that. The guilting and the shaming might be something like being myself is my top priority right now. That's it. I'm just going to be true to who I am. And if you want to put guilt and shame on me, okay, that's your opinion. I don't share that. Or let's suppose that the, that the narcissist pushes you for cooperation about something you don't agree with. They want you to handle things a certain way or maintain your schedule in a certain way or uh, proceed with a project in a certain way, and you just don't agree. And uh, that person just keeps pushing at you. Another line that you can use is, if you must push me into a corner, then it leaves me no other option than to say no. Now, uh, these are some good illustrations, I hope, that uh, can let you know I just don't feel the need to get into their posturing for 
one up and one down. I'm going to keep my upper hand, the upper ground. And it, it's, uh, it's again, it's not you uh, being passive aggressive. It's not you being snarky or sarcastic. It's just simply your way of, of in indicating I am on a very different plane. You're desperate to pull me down. You're desperate to pull me into your traps and I'm not buying it. See, let's keep in mind that narcissists themselves are ensnared by their own poorly conceived ways of engaging with other individuals. And they want you to come into that entrapment that they're caught up in. And I'm hoping you can say, you know, I'm, I'm a free person and I just don't feel the need to get caught in this uh, uh, non-productive back and forth uh, style of engaging. And they're not going to like it. They're not going to uh, think well of you necessarily when you come with these uh, um, comments that I'm making to you. But again, we're going to say, I'm just going to stay brief. I'm going to hold on to my calm firmness and I have no particular defense. That's what I mean when I say, let's take the high road. And uh, the narcissist will never understand you, but you know, that's not your job to make them understand because they're not inclined to do that anyway. Uh, in your mind, I don't know that you want to say this out loud uh, uh, necessarily to the narcissist, you might, but in your mind, you might think, you, the narcissist, will never approve of me. But you see, I approve of me. And in my world, that's where I draw the line. Now, I hope this can give you some good hands-on ways that you can respond to narcissists when they just uh, clearly show themselves for what they are. And it's like, nah, I don't feel the need to draw into that kind of dysfunction. Uh, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I would encourage you to do so. We're going to keep more videos coming towards you. And I hope the cumulative effect gives you a good educational uh, tool to draw upon. Sometimes when you're dealing with these kind of situations, you need to have a therapist that can help you sift this out. I'm so pleased that I've been sponsored for years by the people at betterhelp.com and they have licensed professional therapists uh, who can help you uh, work through some of the, not just the words, but the mindset, like I say, that's behind the words. And uh, I, I've gotten plenty of good feedback from, uh, from individuals saying, thank you so much for referring me to, to this uh, online resource. There's a link below the video that will take you to their website. They'll ask you a few questions. You can select a therapist and go from there. Please get the help that you would need. Likewise, I have my courses and I put a lot of work into these and it requires some work out of you. It's like an online class. And each course has at least 25 videos. Each video has written documentation and guided questions to take you in a particular direction. We have Ready, Set, Connect about having good connections with people. This is me about establishing your boundaries with those who want to step all over it. And then we also have Free to Be, Finding Yourself Despite their uh, efforts to control you. I have my webinars that have been presented. I love doing those webinars and they're on the website as well, along with my uh, access to my podcast, many, many articles that are there, my books, uh, plenty of resources. Okay, narcissists are in a ditch and they want to drain you, bring you down into that ditch. And it's like, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> I know that's your invitation. I'm not taking it. And instead, I'm hoping you can decide I stand for dignity, respect, and civility, unlike that person who's coming after me. But I'm going to hold firm with that. That's what we do here on Team Healthy. And in the process, I hope that it positions you to be a person of peace.